A bit of a bit of a sore one today. Is there any positives at all we can actually take from the game today? Um, no, I wouldn't say there's any positives at all for the game. Um, we didn't work hard enough as a team, and it was a we were poor on the ball as well. It was a poor performance overall, and we never tested Dundee United enough or worked them hard enough, and it was disappointing. We seemed kind of rattled from the first few minutes when they hit the bar after about sort of two and a half minutes on the clock, and, and we just didn't quite seem to recover from that. I, I don't. I don't think we. I don't think we got the balance right of when to press and when not to press. It was like a few like mixed mixed uh, minds, but I don't know how to say it. But we just never we just never got the balance right and when to press, when to go, and we never got that trigger where someone went where we'd all go. And uh, I thought we were too deep as well. It was it was a tough game to be involved in. Second goal seemed to be the the killer. Is that fair to say? I well no because. It is a wee bit, but you're never at the game. I thought uh, after the second goal, if we if we'd got the next goal at two one, we'd have maybe brought it back. But um, uh, it was a hard game. I guess Harry Lewis wasn't really tested, but uh, we just we just seemed to find it awfully hard to make the ball stick in that final third. Do you agree? I agree. Oh. I um, I don't know what it was to do. We just we just couldn't we couldn't get playing at all. Um, just sloppy all over the park, and it was it wasn't too good. United seemed to be pressing really really quickly not giving us much time on the ball how much did that perhaps disrupt our play I would disrupt our play but we need to we need to move the ball quicker and react to what they're doing we need to try and be better we need to move it quick and um, work it work out what they're trying to do to us so uh, it was it was pure to pure to be involved in but you know we need to keep going and kick on next week and that's the point you make there regarding next week. Is the solution just we need to up our tempo and try and get our passing back to, to what we've seen in the last few years? I um, There was no obviously no complaints about the pitch today. We, we could have easily passed the ball in the pitch today, but um, we just need to go back into training this week and work even harder. I know, I know it's a cliche, but that's what you need to do in the training ground. And we just need to find a way to win games now. Obviously, Tony going off probably didn't help things. Um, you found yourself suddenly moving from midfield to, to fullback today. How did you find that? Uh, it was difficult. It was I was playing against a, a quick player. I've, I've never played it right back before, so it was a bit of a shock, like getting getting moved there. But I didn't mind doing it. I'd play anywhere for the team, so uh, it was it was a hard game, but um, I felt I'd done all right. One that we need to get out of the system, as you say, and just get back to hard work. What did the manager say at full time? Because in the post-match interview, he said that it was important to try and, and keep things constructive rather than have a go at anyone. I never, he never slated us. He just, as you said, he tried to keep it constructive, and he'll try and uh, teach us how to improve and coach us how to uh, deal with stuff like teams like Dundee United. So he never, he never went through us. But we just need to get back in the training ground this week and work even harder. And if we do that, what's your thoughts on the game next weekend? Can we take something from that one back at the Falkirk Stadium? Hopefully, aye. Um, you always try and win your home games. Um, there's no, there's no easy game in this league uh, this year, so. So it'll be a tough game, but we just need to knuckle down and, and do something to get the win. Here's hoping we can. Cameron, right. as always, that's your time. Thanks.